Hi, my name is Reza Behtash. I'm an application marketing manager at Nexperia. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the switching performance and the leading thermal performance of Nexperia's Trenshotki devices. As you might know, the switching performance of a diode in an asynchronous switch mode converter has a huge impact on the efficiency of the converter. By design, Trenshotki rectifiers are the preferred choice for switch mode applications with a high DIDT since they have significantly less stored charge QRR compared to other technologies. To benchmark the switching performance of Nexperia's Trenshotki versus a competitor state-of-the-art Trenshotki device, I am using a double pulse test. Let's have a look at the demonstrator. This is a double pulse test board with an input voltage of 48 volt. The design has been optimized for a very low parasitic inductance, as you can also see through this optimized shunt resistor. This very low parasitic inductance allows for a very high DIDT of 1 ampere nanosecond at the given input voltage of 48 volts. Now we measure the so-called reverse recovery behavior of a 100 volt 3 amp strand shot key from Nexperia and compare it to a state-of-the-art product from a competitor with the same electrical spec in a comparable package. On the scope, you see the currents through the two diodes and the currents are going from the on state into the blocking state with the mentioned one amp per nanosecond ramp and the area below the horizontal line corresponds to the stored charge in the device. And this area is obviously smaller for the Nexperia product compared to the competitor product. So how does this impact the efficiency of your switch mode converter? Well, we realized a 48 to 12 volt DC-DC converter and measured the efficiency of the converters. This graph shows the measured efficiency and you can see you can achieve consistently 0.5 percentage points higher efficiency with the Nexperia product compared to the competitor product. So does this switching advantage of the Nexperia product come with any penalty? Not at all. You have even a much wider safe operating area with an Xperia device that has been designed with, with a special attention to this feature, which is crucial for a safe operation of the device. You see here a benchmarking comparison of an Xperia Trench Shot Kit versus a competitor Trench product. We heat up the devices and monitor the leakage current in the reverse direction. Now the leakage current start to increase and at a given temperature, the competitor device become eventually unstable and goes into a thermal runaway. The thermal runaway temperature of the Nexperia Trenchotki is almost 40 degrees C higher compared to the competitor product. This is of course a huge advantage for applications that experience high ambient temperatures that are common for instance in automotive. For these measurements, we use a 100 volt 3 amp Trenchotki diode. Nexperia actually offers trench shot keys in a wide range of current and voltage combinations. All are housed in the high power density flat power packages. They are qualified according to the automotive standard AECQ 101 and are qualified up to 175 degrees C. Visit our website and discover more about the excellent switching behavior and leading thermal performance of Nexperia's trench shot key devices. Thanks for watching.